Good morning. <clears throat> yeah, so. Is it all a load of bollocks? Well, I'm no expert. I don't know, but it don't feel right to me. Does it feel right to you? Something's not right. It feels off. I don't think it's all it's cracked up to be. I've been looking at various reports on death rates over the last few years. Um, by all accounts, it looks like, well, particularly this country, or this nation, England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales, um, our death rates are actually down on average for this time of year, taken over the last few years. Um, <coughs> is it all been blown out of proportion? I'm starting to think it has. I really am. Um, is this the death throes of globalism? Because it's only the globalist nations that seem to be having this massive knee-jerk reaction. They're not doing this in Russia. And in fact, they're not doing this anywhere but in the West. And I think there's probably one or two Western countries that aren't taking it quite so seriously. And what what's the outcome of it all? Well, all we seem to be doing is... Um, allowing our government to um, to erode our civil liberties to what ends I'm not sure I'm not sure about this one at all like I said it feels wrong a lot of it feels wrong now you've got the old bill flying drones over national parks and debasing people for taking walks alone miles away from anybody Let's think about that for a minute. So you're at home, self-isolated. You step out onto your drive, you get into your car, and you drive to an isolated spot that by its very nature is isolated. You then get your dog out, and you go for a two, three hour walk across the moor. You see probably nobody. And anyone you do see, you keep two, three metres away from. Where's the problem in that? But it's okay for you to live in the city, step outside your front door with your dog, walk down the street to the park, and then walk around the park trying to keep your distance from everybody else that's doing the same within the city or the town. The duality is ridiculous. So what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. The cynical part of me thinks it's very, very disturbing. Like I said, it looks like the death throes of the new world order, or globalism. Which kind of makes sense when you take into account Trump, Viktor Orban, Salvini, Yellow Vests, Brexit. Like I said in the last video, it's all falling apart and all of a sudden it's almost stopped because everybody is locked up at home. They haven't even had to take their dissidents and put them in prisons. They've just ordered them to stay in their own homes. Interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot going on. Watch this space. They'll be eradicating cash next. I reckon that's almost guaranteed. I've already heard a couple of rumblings, a couple of politicians saying, yeah, cash is, cash is the problem, you know, one of the problems with transferring this killer virus that actually doesn't kill any more people that it infects than standard flu. Yeah, very strange, very strange times. Watch your backs, people. Watch your backs. Totalitarianism, you'd never see it coming. It just all of a sudden it's there. And this looks dangerously close to that. Anyhow, just a quick one, really. Um, 
thoughts this morning well these have been my thoughts for a week or two now to be perfectly honest with you but I wasn't really sure about putting them out there like this but I think the time has come check the stats for yourself look into it and don't look at one source look at multiple sources and come to your own conclusion but for me it's not adding up anyhow as always take care of yourselves first and foremost that way you can take care of each other trying times ahead people make sure your cupboards are full you've got plenty of paracetamol just in case it's not a load of old bollocks and um, try and enjoy the good weather in your garden if you've got one and if you haven't I feel for you take care guys <laughs>